Hey guys, this is a function generator circuit built using an LM324 chip. An LM324 chip is a quad op amp chip, so it's composed up of four individual operational amplifiers. But for this circuit, we're just going to use three out of the four op amps. So this is the schematic of this circuit. Um, the first op amp produces a square wave and through this 100k potentiometer here um, we're able to vary the frequency of the square wave and that will change all the rest of the square um, waveforms triangle and sine that follow so this controls the frequency so after this we have a um, we have a square wave and then this right here is an integrator when a square wave is put through our integrator, it produces a triangle waveform as output. So this is what we get from the next op amp. And then when a triangle um, waveform is fed into another integrator, this is a second integrator, it produces a sine waveform. So this is how we get a square, triangle, and sine waveform from um, this LM324 op amp circuit. So, to look now at the oscilloscope, this is our three waveforms, square, triangle, and sine waveform. So, right here on this board, we have the 100K potentiometer. So, I'm going to adjust it so that you can see um, how the waveform changes on the oscilloscope. So... You can see all three signals increase and the last signal, let me auto adjust it. Okay, wait. Sorry, let me... Okay, it comes out a little small, but... Yeah, this is how it look. Let me adjust it back. Not sure why it's doing that, but I'm gonna auto adjust it back. And yeah, so these are three waveforms that get different look on the oscilloscope. And let me Again, not sure why that waveform keeps adjusting. Yeah, but this is, you know, this is the gist of how the circuit works. So we're able to get pretty good, um, you know, frequency variation um, through, you know, this 100K potentiometer. And this circuit is hooked up to a DC power supply. Um, the LM324 requires a positive and negative voltage. So I'm feeding it 9 volts on both, um, both to the positive and negative voltages, voltage terminals of the chip. And if you want to adjust the amplitude, you can simply just adjust the, um, you know, the rails of the signals. And you'll get the amplitude adjustment shown on the waveform. So through this circuit, we're able to adjust frequency and amplitude. So this is how a simple function generator circuit can be built with the LM324. To see a more in-detail explanation of how this circuit works, please click the link below and thanks for watching.